Hello and welcome to another video. Not done one for a couple of days with it being Christmas. I hope you've all had a good one. I'm just coming to the towards the end of this pathway now. Just walked from there. I've come today to see the Worsley Delf, which is the 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 first man-made canal in the country. And you can imagine the history what is around this place. Like the canals nowadays, they connect throughout the whole country. They're not really used for the industrial side anymore, like they would have been. But this one was the first one, built by Francis Edgerton. The Duke of Bridgewater. I think there's a few little memorial things here as well for us to have a look at. But it also shows you where the boats would have gone under the tunnels because there's 52 miles of tunnels underground here. The, the, the stuff that he was mining, it's not, it's not just on the surface. Here we get a little view of it here to start off with. It's actually through the tunnels so you can see a bit of one through there. I'm going to get closer now so you can have a better look. Let's have a walk around. So it is the Worsley Delf. So they've got a few little things laid out here. One of the old hats. Candlelight with the map. Come back to that saying in a minute, I'm not sure what that one's about. This just gives you a bit of an idea. So as I say, there's over 300 years of history with this underground system. Approximately 52 miles underground, Worsley, Walkden, Farm of Bolton, Booth Town, the people who live around this area, you'll know, you'll know that area. I don't know why you can't get through that gate over there, but we'll have to just go down here and show you what I can show you. Oh, so they've put another, another bit there for the coal. That, I think it was coal that was being mined here. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. Or sandstone, I think it might have been sandstone actually. Yeah, it was, forgive me, yeah, it was sandstone because they built the, the bridge at the, over the River Irwell. It's another site in Manchester there, we've got another little mining helmet and shovel. So let's see, see if we can get a good view. I'm hoping that it's picking it up well on the camera. So that in the middle is a crane. So over there is an entrance to one mine. There's one behind that over there. I don't know if you can make out the brickwork on there. And I think that possibly might be one as well. That's connecting to the modern day canal, obviously, that's not not one that he did, but you can see here, this is the size of the boat, what it would have been, it wouldn't have been a full size narrow boat. Over there we've got the ones that are filled with the coal and the sandstone. I, wonder, I don't know if it was both of the both materials that he was mining here, I'm going to have, to have a look at that in a minute. What a crazy place. This is obviously not the original, the original crane that's in the middle, they, they did some conservation work and rebuilt a few bits and bats from it. Look at the state of the canal though definitely not been kept clean. I suppose it's a nice little place to come for a walk, isn't it? Nice bit of history. So what's this saying here now? The tunnels ahead of you lead to a series of underground canals. Small teams of miners cut the rock by hand, pick shovel, hammer drills. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. Beginning in 1771, coal from this upper level was originally lowered down a shaft to the main navigable level. So they must have mined both here then at some point. But the first, the first actual working canal in, in the country. If you think of Britain's industrial age, and this is where it, this is where it would have started. It's fascinating, isn't it? So if you've enjoyed this little video, I just thought I'd do a little one while I was in the area. Show you a bit of history of my where I live. I'm gonna go and have a look at the top now, see what that saying said. If it doesn't say anything, I'll end it here, but if not, we'll carry on. So it's it says on here that it was just sandstone that was quarried, but it says down there that it was a bit of coal as well. And it looks like coal that's in them boats, so I'm not 100 percent on that one. But it says here that it's such a marvel that he, visitors came, including King Christian the Seventh of Denmark. Even he came to visit it. Around 80 boats would have come in and out of these tunnels a day. That is amazing. Wish you could actually get into the tunnels. They was thinking about doing tunnel tours here actually, where you would have got into a boat and went through, but apparently it was a bit too dangerous and some of the tunnels had collapsed, so it wasn't a possibility, but we'll end it here then, shall we? I couldn't read what it says on this thing here. I'll leave it on for a second if someone wants to try and attempt it. Oh, I can make out an act to enable the most noble Francis Duke of Bridgewater to make a navigable. I don't even. Know, I don't know if that's right. 
something canal, something something worse than mill over the river here. Well, I'm not too sure, but this must be a map of map of it here. There's always got to be a public house. So something that's worth mentioning. Nice bit of nice bit of knowledge for you. There was a saying that went around these parts when this was built because they knew that it was going to continue to to be built around the country, the canal system, and it was that you could get on a, on a boat in Worsley, where I am now, and get all the way to New York without even touching dry land. Can you imagine that? Just thought I'd put that nice one in there for you. <laughs>